Welcome back everyone to the, the vlog. This week we're going to be checking out two museums here in Leiden. Well, Leiden-ish. Yeah, one's not quite Leiden, but we'll get to that. But they're both science-focused museums. The first one we're going to go to is the ESA Space Expo. Yes, yes. And the second one is the... Is the Rijksmuseum Boerhof. Yeah, they're really cool. Uh, they're both on our museum cart, which is really, really awesome. And uh, we're going to go check it out. The first one, though, I, I'm excited for probably the most. Yeah, and if you don't have a museum cart or you don't know the wonders of a museum cart, you should really get one if you are a resident of the Netherlands or even if you're just visiting for an extended period. Yeah, there's over 400 um, museums, castles, um, exhibits that you can use your museum cart to get into, and it essentially pays for itself within a few visits. Yeah, we're so. not going to pay anything today at all for any of the museums we're going to. Yeah, it's awesome, super cool. All right, let's head out to the first museum. So technically, this one isn't in Leiden. Yeah, this one's... Is it Nordwijk? Nordwijk, which is not far from Nordwijk. Leiden. Nordwijk. Nordwijk, probably. Yeah. This one is the Space Expo. Yeah. Which I'm actually really excited about because I'm a total space nerd, as is most of the kids that grew up in Houston, because we had NASA near us. So as a kid, I'd go to NASA, and we'd do field trips there. Kind of a children's museum. The fact that uh, there's definitely a whole class of kids behind us, we, we see sitting in the, the front area, <laughs> makes me think that maybe it's kind of the same thing. That, I mean, it's cool though. We've never, I mean, we've never been here before, so yeah. we'll see what it's about. Yeah, I'm excited to check it out. Um, do you want to talk a little bit about the ESA? The interesting thing that I found is that the ESA has a big office here. So the European Space Agency, obviously they don't launch rockets from here, but it's pretty cool because you'll see people walking around with ESA hoodies and it's kind of like a, I know NASA is getting real popular for fashion. I wonder if ESA would ever do that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's a gift shop here, so we can Bring check it, it out. Bring it into style. <laughs> which is really cool. This, they don't have it, this like NASA that you can go into. His little nerdy heart is just bleeding out of his chest. Right yeah, now. I'm so happy. <laughs> this, is a lot of, this is definitely the best museum card usage that I've had so far. Very cool. I've never been to NASA, so I didn't really know what to expect. Yeah, so, what do you think? It's, it's very cool. There's a lot of uh, a lot of really interesting exhibits. A lot of, a lot of young kids, so if you have kids, this is a great place to come. There's a whole field trip here. I hear them counting down. Overall, what were your impressions of the ESA museum? It's cute. It's small. Um, it's, I would say, probably an hour, hour and a half. You yeah. could do the whole thing. If you have kids, probably a little bit longer because mm -hmm. there's a lot of 
interactive things to do. There's a really great playground um, outside too, which is really neat. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I thought it was I thought it was really cool. They they do have a small NASA section, which is appealing to yeah. our little Houston hearts. But <laughs> uh, what did you think? I thought it was really cool. I thought there were some things there that. Even though I've been in NASA quite a lot, there's things here that are different enough that it kept me intrigued, kept me involved. Uh, it was really cool to kind of see, like, so in the U.S., everything's so NASA-focused because it's NASA, whereas here they actually talked a lot about the things that were going on with the rest of the world, including NASA. So there was NASA stuff, there was ESA stuff, there was stuff about the Russian mm -hmm. space agency that was launching rockets and things. So it was really cool, and we got to see, like, how the space satellites worked for weather and how they're still being used today, or even the little tiny cube satellites, which were the size of a, a milk carton that were completely used to be able to measure levels of, of different things in, in the air. It's really crazy. So overall, I mean, it's a, I know it's not exactly in Leiden, but it's a 20 minute bus ride mm -hmm. from Leiden Central, or you can ride your bike here. Um, and we'll probably mention this a few other times in this video, but Leiden is um, the European City of Science for 2022. And there's actually an event happening in Leiden on September 25th, if the skies are okay, but they're going to turn off the lights in Leiden so you can see the stars I'm looking without to. any light pollution. So that's really cool. As soon as we know more about that, we will pass that along, but it's definitely something we're going to partake in. Yeah, I'm Super excited cool. about it. Yeah. All right. On to the next one. We're here at the Rijksmuseum Borja, Borja, which is science and medicine museum. And a few years ago, it actually won European Museum of the Year in 2019. That's so, pretty cool. Yeah, really neat. Um, we have this, this place we've never been either. So again, not super sure what to expect, but we're really exercising our museum cards. <laughs> yeah, we're hoping to get a few uses out of it. We said we're going to use it 10 times this year. And, uh, we're, probably yeah. going to exceed that. So. <laughs> I have no clue really what to expect with this, but I'm excited to check it out. Yeah, let's go. audiovisual experience, which is kind of like an augmented reality thing where they project it all over the whole room. And it's in the anatomical theater? Yeah. They have an English upstairs, which is really cool. And it's kind of like the whole history of why this museum is the way that it is. And it's because people started looking at the bodies more. And, and over here, they actually did real examinations in this room. It's super cool. So people could pay money and go view, watch. watch someone and then text somebody up. Yeah, and as someone who's a big fan of um, true crime, uh, yeah. I would probably have been one of those people. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna go see the pandemic. They section. have a contagion, uh, which is like their their newest. Yeah, it's their uh, temporary art exhibit. Yeah, yeah. Which is a little on the nose. So let's go check it out. Cool.
So that museum is a lot. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Uh, it's really, really cool though. It's probably one of my favorites we visited. Yeah, it's definitely the biggest we visited so far. That being said, we haven't done the Rex Museum. Right. We haven't done the Rex Museum in proper. Amsterdam proper. Yeah, yeah. But this one's pretty cool. Like the history, really, the, the father of enlightenment, apparently, is Borhoff. Borhoff, and one of the founders of modern medicine, which mm-hmm. was really neat to see. The Contagion exhibit was a little um, fresh. Yeah, it, it was one of those ones that I just kind of felt a little, my skin crawl a little bit. <laughs> but it was, it was really neat to be able to go through. And if you're a fan of science or medical history, definitely medical. should be on your list for sure. There's a lot of little interactive things I think kids would like, but there was definitely a family there. They ran through it pretty quick. Uh, there's a children's area, which uh, was a, a garden and like mm-hmm. water, like, like a sort of like mini water park. Mm-hmm. It's really cute. Yeah, I, I definitely would check it out. All in all, what do you think of the two museums that we visited today? It's fantastic. Um, I, I really liked both of them. I think for me, the Borhoff was was a little more my speed, but I know you really liked the um, ESA. Yeah. Yeah. I, I definitely say them both being science museums, very different ends of it. There was yeah. a little bit of space stuff in the Borhoff, but uh, yeah, I, I'd say I like the ESA a little bit more, and that's just my, my yeah. thing. Yeah. So if you have any other museums you recommend or would like us to go check out. We're just scratching the surface and we know that. So look out for some more museum videos from us, especially focused around here in Leiden. If you know any cool things that are going on with the Leiden City of Science, please let us know about that and put the comments below. Um, Thank you so much. Uh, Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and we will see you next week. Bye. Bye.